I think for folks that were in the BTC OG days of like Bitcoin's fun, Bitcoin has utility, Bitcoin's about onboarding people and changing the world. And then BCH kind of had that as well. But it, during this dramatic period, it was like, who knows what's happening? And then you kind of take a, you just shift your lens to what's going on with Ethereum and people were having fun. They were coming up with new economic use cases for crypto with smart contracts. And it was like all the things that Antonopoulos talked about of like, you know, someday you're going to have like a, 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 a remote controlled, you know, car that's going to accept crypto payments and the smart contract will settle as soon as the destination arrives by checking the Oracle data from the Google maps. And you're just like, this is the coolest shit ever. But it wasn't happening on BCH. It was, it was happening on ETH. And then people were getting drawn into that whole, oh, it was like token, token mania. And, and, and I think for a lot of BCH folks, we already had SLP. We already, everyone was bought in on tokens, like colored coins and everything on, on BCH. People were all in on like tokens are dope. We just got to find a way to make it work. Um, you know, and, and there was like, you know, some, you know, script use cases of, of tokens that were being played with. And then there was SLP and then SLP was having some issues, but then ETH was just hitting its stride, man. And people were like, people making money over there too. Sure have lost a lot of that in these forks. Maybe I should play with some of these silly food monies. You know, you had like sushi at the time and, and yam and, uh, what other food pickles pickle finance was a dope one. Uh, yeah. If you weren't making money on pickles, man, you weren't, you weren't DeFi summer OG.